In this video, we're going to look at the channel rack a little more closely. Now, I would advise you to go through the file menu and look through some of the templates so you can get an idea of how some of the projects are set up to start with. And a lot of them have some processing in the mixer and some basic instruments like this. But what I'm going to do for now is start up an empty one so that we can show how to build it up from scratch. And the channel rack is completely empty now. So let's look at what this does. Just to review, we spoke about in the last video, the channel rack holds all the instruments and the automation generators for the whole song. And any patterns that we create can use any combination of the instruments that we load up into this channel rack. So the idea is that there's one channel per instrument and the audio from each channel is sent to one of the mixer tracks. And that's where they're processed with effects and where we set the pan and the volume and all that. So let's look at the controls here in the channel rack. We have a mute and solo button here. And again, in the hint bar, you can see as I hover my mouse over it, you'll see what they're doing. Here we have the panning knob, volume knob, and then the target mixer track. We can set it by scrolling. And here we have the actual channel button itself. And by default, there's a sampler loaded in with no sounds. Now here we have the select button. And then we have the actual steps for step sequencers. And by default, there's one bar of 16th notes, but we can extend it by lengthening it like that. But let's stick with one bar for now. Now to load instruments in, there's several ways we can do it. We can use this plus button and we can jump and add in any of these instruments here. We can also use the add menu here and get the same menu with all kinds of plugins and instruments to choose from. We can also right click channel button and choose replace when something is loaded in. We can replace with this same menu of instruments to choose from. But we can also drag and drop from the browser. And that's what I'm going to do now to load it in. So let's go over here. And if you don't have your browser showing, you'll recall that we have the button for it over here. And we can navigate to the different media that we have loaded in when we're in this tab over here that's showing all. This will show only what's in the current project. And right now there's hardly anything. And this shows plugins. But for now, let's look at this. And I'm going to look at the packs that ship with the default installation. So let's go into drums and we'll look at kick. So there's a couple of things we can do. First, we can just click on them to audition them. I like that 707 one. I can right click and I can go send to selected channel or focused plugin. And since this is selected over here, it'll load it into there. And let's load some other ones in. Okay, I like that one. I'm going to drag it in because we can drag and drop as well. Let me just pull this down a bit and make some room. There we go. And I'm going to drag it into this empty space underneath here. And now I've loaded that in. And by default, it didn't assign a mixer channel. So let's set that to a different one. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both of them or just one. Let's go to some hats and we'll try some of these. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to drag that one in underneath here and we'll load it into another one. I'll set this one to three. And let's look at some snare drums. So I'll click there to close it up. And let's go to snares. And let's see some interesting ones here. I'll use an 808 snare. Now, another way I can do it is to create an empty sampler strip there. And then I can right click on this and send it to the empty one that's already existed. So there we have that. And I'll set that to four. And let's add in maybe some effects also just to get something a little more than just, or I'll go to percussion, than just a regular kit. I like those. Bring that in over here. I'll set that to five and one or two more. Bring a nice dry clap in if we can. That's good. Set that to six. And I'll go for one more in the effects section. Let's try that. I'll set that to seven. Good. So we've got some sounds loaded in. Now we can left click a channel button to open up the instrument and channel settings window. So for example, if I click there, we'll see the properties of the samples that are loaded in. And when we're in here, we can also change sounds from here. We can use this to get to different sounds. Let's say I want to change this one instead of that clap. Maybe I want that egg. So I've loaded the egg in. 
And if I want to see where that is in the browser, I can click this to show it in the browser. So there it's jumped to that egg. Now we have different pages here. This first one is for the basic sample settings. We can work with the envelopes of the sound and some other miscellaneous settings pertaining to how the sample plays out. I'm going to close this up and let's end off by saving this. And the next video, we'll look at working with the step sequencer and patterns. So I'm going to save it into a folder I have here. And I'll just name it. And we're good. See you for more in the next video.